what is going on guys Bobby here and today we are back for another video so today what we're going to be doing is going over yesterday's matches of our new organization Tempo Storm versus IX so there's a lot that's been happening the last few days which is why I haven't um, uploaded any type of video so I'm super sorry for that I've been practicing a lot um, scrimmaging a lot I'm just trying to prepare myself for this weekend as we had a really big weekend of matches for esports going on um it was really close in the standings for north america there's a lot of been there's been a lot of drama that happened as you guys know i was with ssg um and then we got traded myself and og to ix um we were part of ix for about a month things didn't work out so fortunately for us we got released and we picked up our old third if you guys were very new or if you guys are new to the channel you guys might not know this but we were playing with alec 26 way back in the day when we were playing for tribe now we are a team again we had our finals on Sunday which was yesterday and we finally finished it and we can finally be back to uploading consistent daily videos with that being said we're gonna be going over the gameplay let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened all right so hopping into the first game it's gonna be Brock Pam and Piper mirror matches now we've done a lot of scrims the teams and these are probably just this is probably just the best comp Alec did load in a little bit late which is obviously a disadvantage so it's gonna be myself OG and Alec 26 against second best slash and Tuna. you guys should be familiar with all six of these players by now Six of NA's best, the most elite players. And we're going to be juking it out over here. So the format is a best of five, best of three per map. So you have to win two games on the map to get the win. And it is a best of five mode. So you guys can see we got the first kill of the game. We're able to take out Toonie, which is a really good start. And then we have Alec kind of just bodying on the top. He did use a turret there, which was a little bit of a waste. But he was trying to play really aggro, which you can't really get mad at for. So I'm also trying to play aggro. The goal here is to try and break a few walls. So you guys can see I broke two walls over there. Really good jump and tap over there by Toonie. Tooney being a phenomenal player, obviously very hard to kill him. Same thing with second best, another very phenomenal player. All these players are really good, but you guys see OG is able to get a kill over there. Almost gets another one. Uh, you guys are going to see he's going to jump away over there. And Alex going to be holding down position. So we're kind of just chilling at this point. I have to come back, Slash has to come back. And we're back on lane with Tooney. We get a tap. Fortunately for him though, um, he does have that Pam turret now on his side. So instead of having lanes, Slash has kind of moved over towards that left side. And they're kind of just tripling up one lane over there. Which isn't a bad strategy since as you guys noticed, their top left walls were taken away. So it's a lot easier to hit a target like that. OG, by the way, is doing a phenomenal job at staying up and constantly applying pressure. As I say that, he does die. Uh, but he did do a very fantastic job of that. As he goes down, um, they are trying to apply some pressure. So what I'm going to do is super that top area where they were trying to come in from. And I'm just going to grab the ball and simply put it into the corner. Um, we do have myself and Alec now on the right side. I do have the healing turret, which is really good. Getting a few taps in right now. Just trying to get my super. Trying to get second best a little bit low. Alec obviously has that constant spam where myself and OG are kind of just shots here and there. So if we can have Alex constant spam mixed with us hitting shots, it's obviously really good. We're going to leave that ball in the corner until we're very comfortable with bringing it up. All three of them have super so they can make it they can make a play happen. Um, Alex playing very aggro. He asked me to get the ball. Um, I went down to get it, but unfortunately he did go down. So I kind of just wasted a little bit of time moving down and back up. Doesn't really matter though. 20 seconds left in the game. It's been a pretty much a pretty even stalemate. I think we're the closest to scoring, but... We never really actually got that close, just had some good pressure. So you guys can see over here, I'm tapping uh, Slash pretty well. Alex doing a pretty good job on the Brock. We're doing a pretty good job at not getting tapped by second. Second being a really phenomenal Piper. Um, not getting too tapped is something that's very important. Just trying to keep your distance, trying to play smart. So we've done, we've done a pretty good job of that so far. Um, OG's doing a really good job with um, with second. Myself and him start to pinch Slash. Slash is very low, as you guys can see. He backs up. He has about 700 HP. And this is when myself and OG start to get a little bit more aggro. I'm going to super. Only one of the rockets are going to hit. But myself and OG are going to be able to take out Slash. So I was going to get the ball. But second is able to hit a tap on us. So we're going to have to revert back and not go too aggressive. Again, both of them have super. So they're able to get some form of super shot. Everyone is keeping really good distance. It's a really well played game, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite games. Um, just because it was so close you guys can see seconds trying to make a play towards the ball over there OG's doing a pretty good job on that right side Alex able to get a kill on slash OG's gonna go to the corner he's gonna super pass me the ball I'm gonna pass that ball up right to Alec and Alex got that one-on-one -on -one with Tooney and he's just gonna slide that one into the left corner with 11 seconds left and this is gonna give us the one to nothing lead in brawl ball now this is definitely one of the lengthier matches and one of the most even matches that we probably saw the entire week with EU, Asia, South America, and NA was a really good match. But with that being said, let's hop into the second one and let's keep it going. So hopping into the second match over here, we do have a different comp. Now they're running, again, the really good meta comp. And we're actually going to be going Mortis and Jackie. Now you guys might be very confused about why we're running Mortis in a game 
that is for $9,000. And on top of the $9,000, likely the winner of this would have a much better chance at making it to Worlds, which is for a million dollars at 1.5. So this is a very important match. You guys would think, why am I fooling around with Mortis? Um, but that's actually not the case. We did a little bit of research. We did some studying. Yes, I know, Brawl Stars studying and research. And we actually found out that Mortis actually does counter the meta comp pretty well. So something that makes people really comfortable when facing Mortis with Piper and Brock now is the fact that you can jump and the fact that you have that new Piper gadget, which you, which you can keep away. So what we did was we also threw in a Jackie. And what this Jackie does is apply kind of the same pressure that Mortis does. Just a lot of HP, a lot of damage, a lot of rush value. And they're going to be using their gadgets really quickly. So yes, it's going to be a little bit difficult once they do have gadgets. But once their gadgets are gone, it's going to be really easy for myself and OG to kind of just run through this team. So we're kind of just taking our time now. They have really good pressure on us. Second's going to get a really good tap on us. Toonie and second are able to kill Alec over there. Second's going to go for a play. Probably a pretty bad play as he just goes down pretty easily and wastes super. I'm going to go in with Mortis. And you guys know we got to get those double value. We're able to get two kills over there. Hit two people with the bats. And now we're going to start moving up towards the top of the map over here. So again, I'm just going to go up to second. Knew he was going to use gadget because he didn't have jump. And waste another one of his gadgets. So OG's going to try and go for a play. Toonie's going to jump. And again, another gadget being used. So although we aren't scoring, we're getting these gadgets used. And that's really all that matters right now for us is trying to get rid of these gadgets. Um, I'm able to get one kill over there on second. And I have the ball here. Uh, giving it to Alec was a strap, but we decided not to do that. Alec is going to go down. And at this point, I believe Toonie is out of gadgets, so we can't do anything. We're able to get a kill on him. And I'm playing super aggro over here. Slash thinks I'm just going to hide in that bush, but I'm just following him, trying to do some stuff. Um, I probably would have been able to kill him, but unfortunately, I did run out of um, I did run out of damage, or health, sorry. Because second best did get that tap on me, which was pretty unexpected. But anyways, Alex setting up position with OG over here. We're in a pretty good spot. Second's going to two-tap over there. He's going to get a tap over there on OG. He has no clue what side of the wall he wants to stay on. OG does some really good damage. Same with Alec. And then I'm going to go in with Mortis over here and get a double hit. Get another one, and I'm going to be able to get two kills. I'm going to score a goal with 10 seconds left. And this is going to give us a win in this Brawl Ball game, because they just have no way of scoring uh, with five seconds. They're basically going to give up, and that is going to give us the Brawl Ball set. So with that being said, let's hop into the next set, which is Bounty Canal Grande, and let's get into it. All right, so here we go into our first bounty game so the meta comp here is jackie piper and brock now there are a lot of all uh like different types of comps you can use here uh but this one definitely does stand out above the rest jackie is really in the meta right now and then brock and piper obviously just very high skill brawlers so we they did triple up one lane which did catch us kind of by surprise uh, i'm able to two tap slash over there but we're not able to get the kill second playing really aggro trying to hit some shots he's doing a really good job at it I'm um, just chilling on the bottom over there, trying to feel out where everybody is. Um, and this is just like a really weird format because they have people on the right and people on the left. You guys can see Toonie's kind of just chilling over there. Uh, Alex able to get two hits on Toonie, which is really good. OG's going to try and sneak in and try and make a play. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't work out and they're going to end up getting a kill. I get two shots on Slash, but we're not able to get the kill. Um, I'm going to be able to kill Slash as well, but Slash, uh, but Second's going to hit me when I'm going down. Which is quite unfortunate, but he's going to be able to get that. And then second's going to be able to get one hit, and Toonie's going to shoot him through the wall, which makes the game 8-3 to three with just one minute left. So pretty tough. I'm able to actually get Toonie down to 26 health. Shout out Alec26. Um, but we're not able to get the kill there, unfortunately. Alec's going to jump back and try and make a play. But at this point, it's pretty hard to try and do this, uh, to try and get this comeback. With OG and Jackie, it's really hard, because again, two really good players being second and slasher on ranged brawlers that do a lot of damage. And it's just very difficult for OG to get up there. And I do believe he's out of gadgets at this point, so he can't just run up. Um, map split, it's a little bit difficult for us right now. We're just trying to hit some shots, but basically this game would be in Alec26's hands to kind of just try and pop off and try and get, get a kill or two. Because a Brock, you can kind of just walk back from and not get three shot. Uh, but Piper, you could get two tapped with. Although it is a little bit hard for Alec to try and make a play here. Just because it's just, they, they're such good players, they can keep their range and everything. It's a little bit difficult. OG's going to go down again, but again, nothing he could really do. He tried to go aggro over there. Um, I think we might be able to get a kill on Toonie over here. I'm not sure. I wasn't really going for Toonie. Oh, we weren't able to get a kill. And we're going to lose this game 14-3. to So really well played by them. Uh, second with the star player. We played two more matches after this. Unfortunately, for some reason, the replays aren't available. Uh, for one of them, we did win, and we evened up the set at 1-1. Um, and the other one was a last second draw where we were able to come back with a triple tank comp So we're gonna show you guys the final game from the bounty set Which luckily for us this one actually saved and actually worked So let's hop into it and show you guys what's up 
All right, so here we go into our next game. So in the second game that we played on the bounty set that wasn't recorded, this is the comp that we did use and we got the win. We found that Jean was very effective. They used the same comp and our M's did counter their Jackie. Um, so they're going to switch over to M's over here. So you guys can see me and Alec double up this lane. I am on slash. He's going to try and knock me back, but I'm going to be able to get the kill on him. And we're going to have the 2-1 lead. They did get the first star. So we got OG over there on the right side doing a great job against Toonie. Um, he is trying to get the kill. OG and Toonie are quite low. And now, again, the game kind of gets to this weird state where they're all on one side and we're just chilling over here on the left. Um, I don't really know where anyone is, so I just tell Alex to get close to me and I'm going to go for a blind pull. I'm going to be able to kill Slash over there. Or, sorry, I'm able to pull Slash over there. And um, we're able to get the kill, which is really good. And again, we're just chilling on the top. Um, second almost goes down. Really good super over there by OG. Not only does it kill second, but it also opens up the grass on the side that they were leaning heavily on. OG is going to go down over there to Toonie, which is very bad for us. At this point, I do think I should have pulled Slash because I think we would have been able to get the kill. But he did have super, which was healing, and two of us are there, so that's really scary. Didn't really want to do that. Alec at this point tells me just to go on the right side because there's no way I can get a pull here. Um, and with our team, you know, we're kind of just based off communication, just trusting each other and listening to each other. Um, I'm not saying it was a bad play, but Alec does get taken out immediately once I move to the other side. It is hard for him to 2v1 with that Piper out over there. And at this point, I'm just trying to go up there and get the Brock. OG and Toonie have been able to keep distance and not go down for quite some time. So I'm trying to just get up there and be able to get a kill on Toonie. He's able to hit a tap on me over there, but I'm able to sneak up over here. He's going to go out of the bush. I'm going to get that three tap on him. And this is going to give us the lead nine to seven. Now at this point, they have an M's with super and a Piper. So I'm very scared to walk back over here. I'm kind of trapped. I'm trying to juke. I'm making my way back. But Slash is going to go into an aggressive position. I'm going to be able to get the kill on Toonie. And I'm going to go down. We're going to lose the game by one. Now, there were a few different things that we could have done over here. Um, e either Alec or OG could have moved up. I could have communicated better saying, I'm going to die. Um, please come up and help me. And they would have probably might, might have been able to get a kill. Um, or another thing is I could have just went straight down and not juke. And we maybe would have been able to stay alive. Not too sure. Um, but either way, we're going to lose. And we're going to lose the bounty set as a whole. And it's going to be one to one in total sets. So we're going to go into Siege now, which is the third set. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. So going into the Siege set, we practiced this a lot and we were very comfortable with this set um, as a whole. It was three brawlers that were very comfortable on. So I'm going to be going Gene, um, Alex is going to be on Frank, and OG is going to be on Barley. So unfortunately, Alex is going to go down basically straight away. Slash has pull over there. Um, I can't really pull because they're not close. I go for one, I'm going to miss. Um, and Slash is going to pull me over there. I'm lucky that I don't go down as I'm able to get the kill. And I actually do get a bolt and a hit, which does help for supercharge. And then obviously a bolt helps because, you know, you want to get a bolt to win the game. Um, but yeah, we're doing a pretty good job over here at defending the bot. OG is going to use his uh, gadget to slow it down. Toonie goes in, not, not seeing the slowdown. He's going to take a lot of damage. So he can't go in as aggressive as, as he wanted to. Alec obviously has that damage where he can shoot through. So Toonie can't go in anyways. And they're going to do 14%, so not that bad, but not that great. Slash is super, so he's going to get a little bit closer. I think he was a little bit afraid that the range was too far, so we didn't end up pulling it. And I ended up getting the pull. Toonie also is going to pick up a bolt over here. And this is a really interesting exchange over here, because I think the game would have went differently um, if it ended up different. But Alec is going to be able to get the kill. I went over to him, and I helped him, and he survived when he was one shot. Second gets too close, going to get a really easy pull over there on second. We're one shot to super. So again, just hit one shot on slash, pull him into our zone. That pull felt like a very long pull. I don't, I don't know if I was walking backwards too much or if it was like perfect max, max range, but it felt long. The score is three to three over here. We do currently have position. We have super. We got a lot of things going for us. So we decided not to go in fully, even though we have a great comp to do so. I'm going to pull second over here and OG is going to get the kill. Just shooting some shots on himself. At this point, I'm telling OG just to super that top right side over there. I was just going to so zone out slash. And we can just focus on Toonie over here and trying to get that kill. Um, so OG is going to be able to get the kill on Slash. I'm going to pull Toonie over here, which is going to get him one shot. OG is going to be able to get that really easy kill. And then second is going to go down to Mr. 26. And we're going to pick up this win. So this is a really good Siege game. We really liked our comp. We were very comfortable on the Brawlers we were playing on. Um, Alec did a really good job on his lane. I did a good job with pulls. And although OG was Barley and it's not very, it's not a very flashy brawler, uh, he only went down once this game. He played very, very well. Um, and this is going to give us the first win in Siege, which is obviously a very big deal. 
So with that being said, let's hop onto the second siege game and show you guys what happened. All right, so here we go into our next game and we're going to be going with the same comp. Now, they're going to very much change it up. Tooney being one of the best Jackies in the world. Absolutely God player. Shout out Tooney for just being an absolute God. Um, there he's going to be on that Jackie. Second's going to be on Frank and I'm just chilling over here on the Gene per usual. So I'm going to walk up, just get that bowl. I believe we do lose the first one. We're going to miss that pull over there. Wasn't really the best pull on my end. Um, this is a game where I should be able to thrive as they're close range. They can't really stay away. So I shouldn't have taken a super from that far. Luckily for me, I am able to get my super back. We're going to be able to take out Tooney over there as they do have a very, very strong offense. We don't know what would have happened um, if they do if they did get the offense off. OG's going to get a really good super over there, which is not only going to hit the bot, but also hit second. And they're only going to do 10% on their very strong first push with their brawler. So that's going to be very good. Um, over here, I'm telling Alec to use his super on second. Reason being, second will use his gadget. And because he used his gadget, I can pull second into the safe. This is actually, or into the Ike, this is actually a really good maneuver. Because if I pull second, you know, he's just going to stand there. He's going to use his gadget. Nothing's going to happen. But because I didn't, um, and I told Alec to super, we're able to make a play there. Now, Alec did waste his gadget over there. Um, I don't think that really mattered because I don't think he used too many gadgets this game. I think that was the only gadget he used. Slash gets a little bit too close. Um, he's going to get pulled over there. And I mean, things are just going really well for us right now. OG's not going to hit the save with that super, but instead do a lot of damage to them. He's probably like one or two shots maximum off his super over there. There we go. He hits one. He gets his super back. And that's something that's really underrated as a play. Just trying to hit their tanks, not necessarily trying to hit the safe. And although we might have been able to finish, we decide to stay out. As they have a double tank comp, you know, Alex has been just absolutely bodying second this entire game. OG's been doing a really good job. OG's going to use his gadget to slow down Tooney, which is going to allow me to get that pull. Alex going to be able to kill second over here, which is going to allow us to get this right side. And I'm just going to get a really easy pull on Slash there, who had to overcommit to try and help second. And that is going to win us the second game. So this is going to bring the score to two to one in total sets, which means we only need to win one more set in order to take home the $9,000 and the 50 points for coming first. Um, really well played. We're going to watch out the very end of this game just because why not? I'm literally just pulling people for fun at this point. Uh, no point of playing, but OG is going to be able to finish the Ike over there. And we're going to hop into the next set now, which is going to be Heist. So here we go into our next game. So we're going to be going into this and shout out to a random player who I'm not going to say who it was, but you know who you are, who gave us this comp because we really weren't comfortable with this map. Um, shout out to second best. He's a really good Brock mid. I've probably scrimmed against second Brock mid in this map. Um, I'd say a good 10 times and I've not won once. Um, he's an absolutely phenomenal player with Brock in this map. So shout outs to him. Um, but OG is giving him the work right now. We decide to go with a Daryl, BB, and Brock comp. And the reason we decide to go this is because we believe that this can do the maximum amount of damage while kind of, you know, defending well. So they are winning at this point. Um, but Alec is going to do a pretty good job. He's going to roll up over here. Unfortunately, he is going to go down, but OG's doing a really good job of just hitting this safe, and he is using Incinerary, which does add damage to every single shot. I'm going to use my gadget over there. I'm going to walk up and hit Toonie. All three of them are going to hit me, but I did get some good damage, plus I hit the safe, so that's not bad. OG taking some good shots at the safe over here. He's going to use his super. Alec's going to be on the safe. An incredible amount of damage just out of nowhere. And they literally, these two, did 50% in like 10 seconds. And we're going to be able to win the game just based off of that push. So really well-timed, really good play by them. And the other team was all alive, so they definitely could have played that significantly better. They are a new team just like us, so they could have worked together much, much better. They didn't, and that's going to give them the loss. So again, let's hop into the next game, and let's show you guys what happened. So going into the next game, we decide to go with the exact same comp. And they decide, you know, we, we like Tempo's comp. We're going to go the same comp as they are. So this is what we're going to be running. All three of them decide to go mid. We have a strategy where myself and OG stay in the mid. And then Alec is just on that left side. Um, second's going to switch over to BB as he might believe that BB is the more important brawler than Brock. Um, we're going to be able to get that kill over there. Three of us on the safe, although Toonie is on the safe attacking which isn't very good. I went over there to try and kill Slash. Unfortunately, second spawn at just the right time. He's going to be able to kill us. And they're doing a really good amount of damage. Alec defended that absolutely beautifully as he's able to take out Toonie with basically no damage being done. Second hits Alec. Alec's going to get that kill on second. Slash is trying to finish the safe. It is very low. I'm going to body block. But we are able to defend. They only have 6% left to do. We have 26. 
I have my bubble. OG's hitting some shots. I'm going to use my bubble over there. Back them up. Going to get my bubble again. OG's going to take some shots at the safe. I'm going to use my bubble another time. And OG is going to super the safe. And that, although it happened very fast, is going to be it. And we're going to win 3-1 to one against IX. Now, this is going to be it for today. It was a really good competitive series. This type of stuff only happens once a month. So, it's super cool to be a part of it and to be able to play in the finals. Um, big shout out to my teammate OG and Alec, who are my OG teammates way back 2017 and 2018 when Brawl Competitive just started. They're absolute goats. They're gods. I love playing with them. And shout outs to Mr. Second Best, Slash, and Toonie. All three of them as well. God players. They've all won regional finals. Um, they're really good players. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this competitive gameplay. If you guys did, you already know. Sub, like, do absolutely everything that you guys possibly can. That's going to be it for me today. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.